Hi, I'm Joe Wiley on Sky Arts. Today, we're bringing you an important report from Sky Skills Studios. Let's go straight to Studio One. Good afternoon. This is Patrick Cunningham. And George Adewoli. Reporting live from Sky News, Channel 501, West London. The latest headlines today are... In Since 2006, exam boards in New Zealand have allowed candidates to use textbooks in their exam. However, how tr trustworthy is this information? As exam board markers in Scotland have expressed major concerns because TechSpeak was found to be used in formal examinations. Relating to this, some teachers argue that TechSpeak has actually helped students express themselves and their viewpoints more easily. In a recent survey, 83% of respondents is believed that the way young people communicate through TechSpeak is affecting the way they are able to speak and write English. Furthermore, various people have said to have invented text, text messaging. It, it is believed that text messages was invented in Finland. So the real question is, is this language acceptable? Or is it a progressing language shaped for the 21st century? Well, this is what the new, news broadcast is about. So what is today's programme going to cover? Well, it's going to cover the impact of how text messaging has affected young people these days. We'll be having a quick chat with a librarian and see what the impact is having on the English language. And finally, we will interview teachers and professors. Now we'll hand it over to Joshua and Ibrahim. Thank you, George. Hello. You're watching Sky Arts HD. My name is Joshua Pra. And my name is Ibrahim Yosma. Our topic today is based on the dramatic increase in use of short message services. On average, 11 million messages are sent every hour in Britain. Now over to Ibrahim. Now let's take a closer look at the issue on texting. Did you know approximately 9 out of 10 young people in the UK have a mobile phone? And that an estimated 8 trillion text messages were sent in 2011. But going in depth, a recent study showed people aged 8 to 18 spend around seven and a half hours a day on their phone or any other electrical appliance they have in their house. Now let's go to Clark, a world record holder for sending the most texts in a minute, who's going to tell us more in detail about the text abbreviations that have impacted the people today. So Clark, do you, do you really believe that young people texting and overexerting their phones has changed the form of language? Yes, I do believe that, because I often use slang in my daily language. OK, then. But what about the form, ASAP? Has that changed over the years, or has it still got the same meaning? Well, yes. Another popular text abbreviation is ASAP, as soon as possible. Started life as a written military abbreviation, but now is often incorporated into written language. Thank you. Now over to James Adams. Thank you, Joshua. I'm James Adams, reporting for Sky Arts HD. I'm here in South London at St Columbus Catholic Boys' School Library. Most people oppose the idea of text talk. What about you? Some people have argued that text talk should be embraced in the school environment as a 21st century mode of communication. Head librarian from St Columbus Catholic Boys' School, Adam Noel, is with me now to answer a few questions. Hi. Adam, why do you feel so passionately about text talk in education? Text talk makes things a lot easier and quicker. Personally, I feel that text talk should be embraced as an act as a code. Between the younger generations, basically, I, as long as text talk doesn't leak into examinations, I should still be fine. So really, what's the problem? But it has leaked into examinations, and this is clearly a problem. There are some teachers that feel there is a place for text talk, but others say it's dumbing down the English language. Do you really expect to get people on your side? Yes, the younger generation we will use the text talks when speaking to each other and their teachers and people they know will understand them. When it comes to exams, they can use standard English. Thank you very much for your time, Adam. Thank you, BBFM. There you have it, an esteemed academic's view on this controversial subject. 
This has been James Adams for Sky Arts. Now for Siren. I'm here to interview a teacher from St Columbus and a linguistic expert from Oxford. So, welcome to our Sky Studios. Thank you, good afternoon, sir. So, the first question is, do you think the changes in the language is a good thing or a bad thing? Well, I am in support of the idea to do the changes in language because I studied English literature at Oxford University for three years. And my perception on language is that the complexity will always change like over the course of like the years and a period of time to adapt to the current generation, which is also influenced by the society that we live in. So you do agree with? I really do. The second question is, would you like to incorporate text language into the English curriculum? Well, I agree to a certain extent that it can be incorporated, but however, it should only be like involved into a small aspect of it, as we don't want to be teaching them how to speak in slang, but for them to know how slang is used within our generation of today. Okay, so thank you. After the break, I will be with Chris, a teacher from St Columbus. Welcome back. I am now joined by Christopher. My question to you, Chris, is, as technology is becoming more advanced, young people feel the need to text instead of studying. So what is your opinion on this? Well, my opinion is studying is a dedication. And without the dedication, how are we supposed to know that these students really want it? To me, dedication shows that the students really want the best for themselves. I have been at St. Columbus for six years now, and I believe that the effect of texting has become more stronger than how it was in the past few years. And the, the tradition really is hard work leads to success, not easing off and hoping for the best. Yeah, so um, that's all we have time for now. So thanks for coming on the show, Thank Chris. you very much, Aaron. Thank you to my guests. I'm Siren, and tune in next time. Thank you for watching, and thank you to the Sky Skills studio team.